car. It's a Lucky Start Macross Frontier crossover kit. A kit, not a kit, a prize figure. And behind her is the Mika prize figure, which I got from Jungle. Because uh, that was when I first discovered Jungle, and I went crazy over any prize figure because they were so damn cheap. Probably got it for like 10 bucks or something. Uh, I just do a uh, quick pan. In the corner, that corner of the room, you can see there are stacked boxes of uh, Figmas, which are hiding other boxes behind it because the Figma boxes just go so well together. Hey, that's my work desk with the uh, Keratim on it. Okay, this is my fireplace. Never used it. Don't intend to. My couch, my pants, my bed, my other wall with posters on it. Uh, it's pretty full. Uh, my coat rack. Temporary couch, which has been here since the house has been here. Not couch, temporary chair. Let me just switch to the next song. Let's enjoy some uh, candid footage of the table. Imaginary like the justice. And of course I had to take a sip of my coffee because that's all I'm about. I'm just about coffee. Alright, uh, this table is done. So I sh I'll move on to the next display case over here. Okay, I guess this top shelf is something like a Miku Shrine. Uh, well, I mean, I... Even if you didn't call it that, I mean, you can kind of tell it's a Miku Shrine type thing. Far back, you have uh, Dragon 2020 Miku from Max Factory. Got this at Fan Expo 2014, I believe, for like 140. Uh, next door is not Type Moon, but what's it? Moon Type 2, I believe. It's uh, VN02 Miku. It's from one of the songs called Moon that was remixed, and I think this was the art that came with the remix CD. Uh, it's, I guess it was popular enough to inspire an actual figure because they went and made it. Uh, yeah, so I always liked that. And of course, during my uh, early jungle days, I did spot her and I bought it. Uh, okay, next would be, if you can see, a Pen Miku Figma in the back, which is one I bought from Amiami pre owned. Uh, I did that, I mean, just to see, I did want it, and I also just to see the uh, process of how pre-owned figures are sold. I mean, it's pretty standard, nothing too different from buying a new figure. Then in front of her is uh, Racing Miku version 2015. What really caught my eye, other than just like the overall quality of the figure itself, was these things that she had on the side. I'm not sure what they are, but I am a big fan of... Uh, Mecha Musume type design, so I really, that really caught my eye. The next door is uh, from Ichi M's uh, album uh, Greatest Idol Ever, or Miku Greatest Idol, I think. Uh, this one did get bargain bin like after it released. I never looked at the price, but my, I did, always told by my friend. I'd, but I don't care, whatever price I paid for it, I. I felt it was justified because I do really like this uh, figure. It's really nice. The next to her is uh no, she's 2015. Okay, this one's 2014. I'm sorry, this one's racing to 2015 Figma, which I picked up at Anime North um, this year, for like a hundred something. I thought I think it was a decent price, just because finding that online would just be hell. Did I get it from? I did get it from good old uh, the Beetle World. Then uh, in front of her is Miku Nandroid 2.0, which is I really like because she can actually kind of stay upright without her stand. Saves a lot of space and looks nice. Then next to her is uh, Miku Figma 2.0, which I got before Nandroid 2.0. And then next to her is uh, Racing Miku EV. Mirai EV, and her arm is actually broken. I intend to fix that someday, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And under that is more Figmas. Yeah, well, I mean, this was probably spoiled by the whole display of Figmas earlier. But yeah, here's the Figma stuff. And I believe I will cut this short because uh, I do have company over, so maybe I'll continue this the next day.